Out Hello everyone. China. As I've been told, is and has been at risk of a major financial crisis. With their zero tolerance COVID policy, the banking system failing, the citizenry protesting by refusing to pay mortgages on houses that don't exist, and the youth embracing the Bailan movement, Xi Jinping has likely been waking up in cold sweats over the thoughts that the end is nigh to some degree. Warhammer 3 is the topic of today's video, as we play with Miao Ying, starting in Fantasy Beijing in Fantasy China, otherwise known as Cathay, where all must obey. As Cathay, we are responsible for the Great Bastion, a wall that is set up to keep out all sorts of barbarians, such as Vermonters, Greeks, Redditors, any sorts of vile species you can think of are kept at bay. And unfortunately, we must recapture the gates to the wall to prevent invasions and maintain harmony to get the most out of our economy by balancing our yin and yang because this game is tasteful and not racist. But more importantly, to our south are protesting college students, otherwise known as rebel fascists, that we must slay today. At first glance, you may not think much about Miao Ying, but her starting army has a hot air balloon with rockets that engineer censorship. And she's basically the female version of Raiden if her name was Jaiden. That didn't make any sense, but she does turn into a whole ass dragon, dragging my ass on the screen. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Tamarin, and I'm very funny. I'm coming to you about a month after my last manic episode because I spend my time responsibly, especially as I refuse to listen to my own communistic internal thought statements such as, work on a video, you're fucking lazy. But more importantly, you have probably noticed that China is still standing. Therefore, all of the Western media outlets lied to me for the millionth time. Now, we could talk about the moral implications of media outlets hyping up the death of an economy which would leave literally billions of people impoverished or worse just to get some more clicks. But I much prefer playing Bibio games where we can mercilessly put down rebellions and engage in actual race wars with demons, ratmen, and Canadians. Now there are actually ways to win these campaigns in Warhammer. There's a variety of victory conditions. Realistically, this short victory condition could be completed in a single session, probably less than six hours in a single go. It's taken me nearly three months because school is a bitch. I highly recommend you drop out of college to make YouTube videos instead. Furthermore, I recommend you try to have the video you make keep up with current events so that it will be terribly out of date by the time you edit it and wonder why you even bothered. And you know what? I do wonder why I bothered because this is really fucking dumb, but at the same time, it makes for a really good fourth wall break. Thanks, Isaac. You're doing such a good job. That previous statement is a lie. I am not doing a good job. I have barely even talked about the topic of today's video. Can I introduce you to the things that cripple my productivity? Insomnia, adult videos, and the never-ending disappointment known as Overwatch and it's cake. Now, there is a bright side to this for me. These are mild bitch boy problems that can be overcome with a few changes in daily habits. The harsh reality is that if I do enact better habits, it is inevitable that I will either pick up new ones or retread the ones I already have. I will be fine though, because like I have already said, these are bitch boy problems. Now, if you are a user of amphetamines, my friend, you are fucked. It was nice knowing you sober for an hour. In all actuality, Warhammer 3 is a fun game, and this faction I picked out is a very good introduction for Warhammer, since you have access to a good variety of units, ranging from peasants, which can go straight into the meat grinder, and actual armored men, which matters since they have money to purchase weapons and armor so they won't get mauled. A better society would spend way more on its defense budget to make sure everyone gets armor and weapons so they can survive the war zone, get PTSD, and end up homeless. We also get access to dragon horses and artillery, which can kill the inferior races from a long distance, so that some of my own men won't have to face the serious and intimate repercussions of killing hundreds and seeing their friends get maimed right next to them. Remember, 
Race wars and death are rad tools in video games to desensitize the youth to the prospect of killing someone who looks different from them, which, aside from mass censorship, failed banks, real estate scams, and mandatory lockdowns that make the citizens riot and demand that your leader step down from power, is what the Cafe campaign is all about. Which is why I'm rating this campaign a strong 4 out of 5. <laughs> <laughs>